For WKNO News in Memphis, I'm Christopher Blank. Tennessee's delegates to the Democratic National Convention, beginning August 19th, were among the first to voice their support for Vice President Kamala Harris as the presumptive candidate to replace President Joe Biden just hours after he ended his campaign. Among the 77 delegates were U.S. Representative Steve Cohen, Mayor Paul Young, State Senators Karen Camper and Ramesh Akberry, and State Representative Justin Pierce. Lexi Carter, chairwoman of the Shelby County Democratic Party, told the Daily Memphian that while delegates were concerned that a black woman might not be able to beat Donald Trump, Harris's fundraising abilities and her popularity with women and younger voters were among the reasons she had Tennessee Democrats support. Shelby County Juvenile Court Judge Tarek Sugarman says he is opposed to a proposal that the court take over management of the county's youth detention facility from the Shelby County Sheriff's Office. Aaron Fleming of the Daily Memphian reports that Sugarman's chief concern is a matter of money. Sheriff Floyd Bonner proposed in April handing over the Youth Justice and Education Center by December 31st, a time when Sugarman questioned at the time because of the intricate nature of the transition process. But now, Sugarman wants out entirely, or at least until he knows exactly what the court is going into. It would cost from $30 million to $40 million for juvenile court to take over the Youth Justice and Education Center, Sugarman said. For the Daily Memphian, I'm Aaron Fleming. The Benjamin Hooks Central Library in Memphis will remain closed through next Monday as officials investigate an apparent suicide. Memphis police officers and paramedics responded to a call just before noon Monday of a man who fell to his death. The incident took place during a day-long fundraiser for the library, which caused the facility to go into lockdown. A spokeswoman said the city would look into additional safety measures for the library. Last April, the Bartlett Rec Center officially became the Bartlett YMCA. And next month, the center will undergo a million-dollar renovation, which will include redesigning the lobby to give it a more welcoming feel, raising the ceiling, and installing new lighting. The locker rooms and the pool will remain the same. This is 91.1. More news at WKNOFM.org and on the WKNO app.